Hi, I'm Todd Anderson. I'm Brian Brown doing. You're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. All right, we're back from a lot of traveling. A lot. Uh, traveling. We just got back from Charlotte. Before that was the uh, Invitational in Columbus, uh, the Season 2 Invitational, won by Ali Antrazi yep. playing Urza Tron, which was kind of kind of awesome. Good I mean... Friend, good friend, ex-roommate of yours. Basically, every part of it was awesome except the part that involved Urza's Tower, Urza's Power Plant, <laughs> and Urza's Mine. What Everything else was, was great. Was Urza's Tower, Urza's Mine, and then an <laughs> Another... Urza's Mine that looked like an Urza's Power Plant? <laughs> That, that's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and then the following weekend was one uh, Grand Prix Charlotte, uh, modern again. Uh, we were half modern at the Invitational. Won by, uh, I can't remember his name. Michael Malone. Michael Malone playing... Elves. Elves with Collected Company, Court of Calling, a pretty sweet, sweet, de sweet deck. It's been yep. on Magic Online a bunch. If you told me that deck would win the GP, I would have probably laughed in your face because... While it is a deck that people have been playing on Magic Online, it hasn't really been putting up that great results. So sure. uh, I was a little surprised to see it in the finals, but that's pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm a collected company fanboy. So if you had told me that Tectonic Edge would have cast Teferi <laughs> and beaten Sampardi, I would have not believed you because it wasn't on the deck list. But that's irrelevant. Yeah, <laughs> the old uh, finals game <laughs> loss, classic. Yeah, seen a hundred times. Yeah, that was that was crazy. I've never yeah. seen that before. Anyway, we got some standard action for you today. Let's get to the the nitty gritty. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a band heroic deck similar to the one Tom Ross built months ago. That's uh, not really changed all that much, honestly. Uh, I've been tweaking some stuff here and there, and uh, I keep playing the deck, and I I still like playing the deck. I think it's still good. I think it's still pretty powerful. Uh, we just haven't really find the, the, uh, found the right iteration of it yet. Uh, instead of a Johnny's Presence, um, we're gonna actually going to be playing Valor Stance in the main deck today. Uh, giving that a try. With the rise in popularity of things like Green Red Devotion and just so many Siege Rhinos and things running around, I think it's important to have a proactive spell that can also double as a protection spell. And uh, it's been pretty good so far in testing on Magic Online. We also have a weird sideboard plan that we'll talk about if we implement it, which I think we will. Uh, basically, we just go into lots of counter spells, treasure cruises, and removal, and kind of switch into different gears. Like, our opponent's going to be trying to kill all our stuff, but we're just going to try to refuel a treasure cruise and beat him in the long game. I don't know if it's going to work because he's playing a dig through time deck, but uh, who knows? We'll see. Yeah, as for myself, I'm playing a Soul Tie Control deck similar to the one that Jack Fogel won. Uh, GP Memphis with, uh, and this was piloted to a top 16 in the Premier IQ after the Invitational Columbus by Robert Vaughn. Uh, it looks oh, pretty yeah. sweet. It's got the Death Mist Raptor Den Protector Shell uh, alongside the classic Soul Tie Control, like uh, Seder Wayfinders, Dig Through Times, a really ugly looking mana base. Pretty much everything you've come to know and love from Soul Tie. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that's all for the intro. Let's go ahead and get to the match. Uh, two things. First thing, uh, just so you guys r remember, uh, we are giving away the sweet Tassiper the Golden Paw. Paw. Uh, play mats at every Star City Games Open Series event that you attend. You only get these for the main event, though. So if you want a sweet Tassiper to play mat, got to play that. Got to play in the open itself. Yeah. So uh, we're going to play sevens here for the match. See who goes first. Let's go. That's an eight. And then yours and is a seven. All right. Woo, cool. I'll take the eight. play. All right. That was a great game of sevens. I, I, uh, I enjoyed it all. Concur. It was quick. That was why I liked it. Yeah, it was quick. Normally it's seven rolls. It's Let's quick, go. also dirty. Um, this hand <laughs> is... This is a hand you could have in this deck. I'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my hand's great. Deck's great. Let's go. Go. All right. No thought sees is awesome. Lead off with this guy. All right, that is my second favorite hoplite. I'll take one to cast a Seder Wayfinder, where I will summarily brick. Brick! Ah, oh, oh, luckiest. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, attack for one. No blocks. 18. All right, we could play uh, this, but I'd rather use my mana more efficiently and just get another threat to play now. Here we go. Seeker of the way. Draw. Sweet. Um, I 
Hmm. There's a number of ways I could play this, but I think that I... I think that I just want to take one here and just destroy this guy. Alright, you're at 17. Uh, yep. And say go. I'm killing that guy because he just is gonna has the potential to grow a lot bigger than the Seeker of the Way. Alright, take two. Take 15. Alright, I'm gonna take one down 19, get an island, play Battle Waters. Alright. And. <clears throat> I'll say go. Draw. All right, we will cast a morph creature. Yep. And I'll say go. All right, so we're going to do this simply because we want to find a green source that comes into play untapped, and we get to draw a card and scry and draw for the turn. Uh, the card on top is pretty good, though. I think we would actually rather have a, a land than this card, so we'll put this one on the bottom. I don't know if you were even able to see. Lose this. Okay. All right. Uh, draw off this. All right. Untap. Draw for turn. That was also pretty insane. All right. Scry. Yep. Put that on the bottom. True that. Text. Wow. Draw two. All right. So um, three and five. Hmm. Well, I'm going to, huh? I'm gonna double block his seeker and try to force him to cast a spell here. Yeah, I was a little afraid of him doing that. I think that's the best play for him, but at the same time, uh, I think we might be okay just making this trade since this is probably, okay, actually no, we're not okay making this trade because this is probably a death Raptor because he was stuck on this and there's a dim protector in the yard. And there's no way he would just block with it, I don't think. He would just chump here with this if this was a, a, a den protector. So with that in mind, uh, that he probably has another den protector in hand. This is all just like chain of thought. It might it might not be true, but uh, this is probably death miss. He probably has another den protector in hand and a land that comes in play untapped to get it back next turn. So we want to keep our guy in play and double spell next turn, or just let him kill a guy and we'll still have this next turn. So we'll just give this guy probe green, or target this guy, I'm sorry. It doesn't change anything because those are gonna die. Sure. Uh, bottom that. Uh, so I'll gain four and you take six, down to nine. Bang. All right, and we'll play a Skylands. Bottom, go. All right, let's draw. Hmm. Alright, that's a, uh, a draw you... That is a card you could draw. <laughs> um, I will play a Morph Creature. That is what I expected. You're up. Four blocks. Oh, one morph. Den protector. Uh, we'll return Deathmus Raptor, and I will target Seder Wayfinder. I almost said a bad word. That is not the card I expected him to target. 
So, <laughs> all right. So that means he probably has Dragon Lord Slumgard in hand, I guess. All right. Um, yeah, that resolves. I'm trying to think if I have an effect for block. I don't think that I do. Right. I can do your thing. I can yeah. block. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I think that's the only block I want to make. All right. Now I'll make him indestructible. Okay. Scry. Bottom. Take three. And I'll gain three. Six to twenty-two. No, I gained four last turn, so I should be twenty-six. Six, two, yeah, twenty-six. All right, and then we'll play Lagona. Sure. Sure go. Trying to get the band back together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will uh, go ahead and play Seder Wayfinder. That rolls. Two, three, four. Well, I guess I my options are Yav my coast or. The old Yavamai? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, sounds like the coast is clear, so... I'm at six right now. It's yep. kind of gross. Hmm. I think that's... I'll just play more. Okay. And say go. Yeah, bottom there. All right. <laughs> I hate when that happens. All right, we're gonna command putting a counter here and these two fight. Scry. Top. Good. Six. He has two damage on him. I think it matters though. No. <laughs> uh, block like this. All right, I am fine with that. Okay. All I right, take so two. two. Put you to four. You gain three up to 29. I'll play favored. Sure. All right, here we go. All right. Play morph. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unmorph. Death mist or den protector. Alright. Uh, returning both death mists to play. Both of them face up. And also you have a my to my hand, which I'll play. Okay. And or maybe I should. Yeah. Maybe I should flip one of these face down. It's probably smart. Yeah. Might just might just die. Yep. <laughs> I'll flip one face down so I don't just die to God's willing. Yeah. Um and I think I still get the album my coast. But well, maybe maybe not. Yeah, I'm gonna get the album my coast. Seems reasonable. Go. So I think we can surmise from that that he has Dictor Time. We have his Treasure Cruise. And we'll Disdainful Stroke it. Okay. All right. That stinks. Talk to everybody. All right. Let's put this here. That's four. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna 
maybe yeah I think I'm just gonna block like that <clears throat> I don't think that I'm dead to... Okay. No. This game is spiraling. Bottom. Oh, no. Disdainful stroke. Jeez, that was gross. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, come on, top deck. Here are three. I'm at three. You don't need no top deck. Oh, you got two raptors. I got one power getting through. I'll go to two. That was the card I needed to draw. <laughs> Oh, the Ugin? Yeah. I can't beat Ugin. Yep, I will play an Ugin in minus two. All right, you win. I was basically had the entire game I was playing towards the Ugin. That's why I kept getting back Wayfinders and lands. Yeah, the third Den Protector was basically impossible to beat, I think. Yep. Was there three or two? There's three. Well, you milled one, one and I milled then you one. Drew two, yeah. Yeah, there's actually a four. Yeah. All right, I'm on the play here for game two, and this hand looks pretty solid. Oh, can't complain. This hand looks really terrible, but we have some scry lands, so. All right, we're going to take a lot of damage this game. I'm okay with that. 19, go. Okay, that was not, not what the doctor ordered. Let's go ahead and scry, and I don't think we want that card either. Bottom. All right, still taking the time, but we're going to get it back maybe. Uh, so 17 to 19. Yep. Go. Woo! Well, our first two draw steps were the cards that we had in our hand already that are both really bad. So. Yes! Uh, and <laughs> I'll scry that to the bottom. Here we go. Draw. Perfect. All right, take one. Scry. Or not scry. Uh, counter and draw. Right. So, uh, six, gain three, 1913. Yep. <laughs> Good. Quite a few options here, and they're all great. Eighteen. Let me get this. Go. This take one seventeen. Yep. And then attack for three. Four. Oh yeah, uh, four. So nine to seventeen. Yep. Go. Yep. Go. Right, in turn, take one. I strike this snake guy. Also, foil tokens available uh, for prize at your local IQs, I believe. Which is kind of cool. Right, draw. What is this? What is this? Make a guy triggers. Type for a bajillion. Go to block favorite hoplite. Okay, so this is 368. All right. Yep, I'm dead. Whee! All right, we're here for sideboarding. Uh, for me, I'm 100% cutting Disdainful Stroke. It only counters Treasure Cruise out of his deck. And even though we did uh, nab a Treasure Cruise in game one, I don't think that that's a game plan that we want to be on at all. Uh, I'm also cutting three digs, which I don't know if that's right. I mean, dig feels like the kind of card that you like never cut from this deck, but it just seems super slow in this matchup and he's also going to be bringing in counter spells for it at, like they always bring in some number of disdainful strokes or negates or something to, to counter dig through time so i don't want to try to rely on this as a card to win the game instead i'm bringing in a couple of removal spells another thought seize another ashiok <clears throat> and two tazigers which can just hold down the fort 
if he doesn't have a lot of pump spells for his creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Ashiok is actually a card that <clears throat> uh, I have... I think is is actually decent just as an annoyance against this deck where I can just keep putting in like his terrible creatures and just forcing him to use spells to make his other terrible creatures big enough to attack through his terrible creatures that I'm controlling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, Ashiok is pretty annoying for me to play against and uh, after board I also have three Monster Mentors and if he ever gets a Monster Mentor I'm in a lot of trouble. So uh, it's always good to make sure that, like, if you can attack Ashiok for lethal <coughs> to do so, as long as, you know, uh, you can afford to uh, attack that and not, like, his life total. Like, if we're on, put him on, like, a two-turn clock, it might be worth it, you know, even if he gets to play the creature. But, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, on my side, uh, we're going to be bringing in four disdainful strokes to help out against his more expensive stuff. Um, it's obviously better when they have Dig Through Time, but, uh, you know, we're fine using this on, uh, like, Dragon Lords and Ugins and things like that. Uh, even, I don't know if he has Crux, but uh, this card's pretty sweet against Crux also. Uh, we may do some reconfiguration after boarding if this doesn't feel right, but uh, third Monster Mentor, uh, two Strass Dancer. These cards help us win the long game. Strass Dancer has been phenomenal for me against these control matchups. Um, just being able to put a threat into play that's always going to counter something is pretty sweet because usually the things that is countering uh, are targeting it. <laughs> yeah. As, as, as funny as that is. And then two more Treasure Crews and a fourth Valor stance. This card has just been so versatile in all the, all the matchups uh, I've played with this card so far, and I, I might just end up playing four in the main deck. I don't know what to cut yet. There's a really weird balance that you have to keep in this heroic deck between, like, threats and, and like, spells interact with your opponent. Yeah. And because we're... Uh, bring in so many spells, I actually have to cut some number of Dramokas commands. It's possible that this card's actually pretty good in this matchup, um, but it just feels weird trying to fight like Deathmiss Raptors with it, and Dim Protector, it's like, he's never going to play it when he can't morph it, usually, or can't uh, megamorph it. So uh, this card just has uh, diminishing returns. It's pretty bad in multiples. It's also pretty bad after sideboard when your opponent just has a lot more removal. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck with a card that doesn't protect your creatures or do anything. It's just a target target my guys to do some things when I can just kill them. Yep, and uh, Seeker, we don't really need to gain too much life in this matchup, and Trailblazer is the worst hero creature, uh, so we're going to be trimming on those so we can make room for all this stuff. How many times do you live? Um, only once? I think that's correct. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this hand is extraordinarily greedy, but <laughs> sometimes you gotta live on the wild side. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Go. All right. Uh, scry. Try to dig for creature. We, I guess, yeah, we just basically only want a creature at this point, so good. Had it? We get, yeah, I'm sure you did. Had it? I'm sure you did. Probably just going to brick on the Seder Wayfinder. Ha! Ah! <laughs> All right, go. He has another one. Sorry if I broke your eardrums, director and or people watching. Go. All right. Don't have another one, didn't hit a land. Kill that guy, though. Uh, that's good. Attack you for I don't one. have another creature. <laughs> Go. Not yet, anyway. I did board all of them out. All right. Uh, cycles to find a strike on your guy. Woo! Sato Wayfinder's getting big. Yeah. Go. All right. Come on, sick. Uh, okay, so not the worst, not the worst. Uh, attack for one. Is it a land? It is a land. I will scry. Man, it's not a land of the card so good. Man. I think I have to bottom it, though. Yeah. Go. Right, I'm going to fetch all my upkeep down 17. Alrighty. Uh, I guess we don't really want another blue mana. Oh, yeah, we do. We have to play like five white spells. We can always just tap these stupid mana confluences. Rather not take extra damage if, I'm, if it's unnecessary. Right, draw. Alright, I can't imagine he's going to do anything next turn except play a morph. He might try to kill Mentor, but if he does, I think that's okay. We'll play that. Sure. Good. The worst scenario would be if he had ultimate price, because then he or the second one, and then he could like target this uh, or kill it. 
I'm not trying to like tell like give you false information or whatever, but I don't want to let you know what's in my hand or not. All right, I'm gonna start with scry and leave that on top. Uh, and I'm gonna play Ashiok actually. All right, and I'll plus Ashiok. All right, you hit two strokes and a forest. So it's good. It's important to remember that the forest is gone, so that uh, if we come, if it comes down to it, we're we don't have very many lands left. I'll pass the turn. All right, let's draw. Play this guy. Play this, true this, true this. Cut. And tap for three. Uh, attacking me or Ashio? Ashio, sorry. All right, Ashio goes to two. Or I'll, I will not block. Yep, that's fine. Goes to two. You're up. Uh, plus Ashiok. Hit a doofer. Doofer Tuesday. Cards in hand. Trade. Okay. All right, I'll fetch on the next hand. I'm going to attempt to cast Crux of Fate. It's probably going to get countered, but I'm going to hope that it doesn't. Well, do I want to keep Mentor or do I want to keep Hero by Rose? Uh, hero lets me draw two. Yeah, okay, we'll just keep the Hero, whatever. Take two down to 15. Okay. Undestructible. I guess. Good thing that's not in hostilities or my ordeal would have got knocked off too. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so hey, that's the first fetch and you have you taken any pain line damage? I assume not. Nope. Alright, so fifteen to nineteen? Yep. Alright, draw. Uh, attack for five on Ashiok. Draw two. Alright, we'll fetch. All right, so we have one plains, no island, and no force left. So if we draw another fetch, we have to remember that it is dead. It is a dead card. Or no, next, one more fetch for a plains, and then after that, it's a dead card. So, um, You have three cards? Yep. All right, well, we're going to play a treasure cruise. We're just going to use all of it in case we have to like protect and cast a disdainful stroke or something if we draw one. We do want to use our mana efficiently, so we're just going to do this. So, yeah. Alright, uh, we'll play a Morph. Morph Resolve. You ain't got no deafness, right? Uh, no, I don't have deafness. So I'll say go. Alright, uh, target this. Okay. Trigger, draw, tap, draw. We're okay, saving that scribe. Basically, just want to thin our deck, get our graveyard a little bigger. So I go 13, get the last planes, declare tax. Trigger. If you have responses, feel free to stop me at any point. We can always back up. I don't have any responses. All right. So I'm going to draw two off the door deal. Sure. All right. No blocks. Um, eight's good. All right. Shoot 11 to 13. I'm play this. I will flip this guy, and I think I'm going to get Thoughtseize back, actually. All right. And I'll fire off Thoughtseize. Results, you go to nine. Yep. 
Uh, three stamps at Cruz and two land. <laughs> Alright, so we'll take the cruise. You have three stance and I just play face up for okay. that. It's fine. Huh. That is an interesting hand. I will cast a morph. Alright. And I will say go. Scry. Bottom. Hmm. Mage is going to keep running this chain. A little annoying, but we'll attack. Um, just block here. All right. I think we want to do a little damage in here. Give this indestructible. Uh, you take two. You yep. Seven. Yep. And I'll say go. I will flip this guy up, getting this guy back. Yep. This is tough. Uh, I'm at seven. All right, I'll play morph and unmorph it. Getting back. Pluto Delta. All right. And I'll say go. Yep. Yeah. True. Again. That was a sweet game. All right, this hand's a little awkward, but um, I think it's definitely a keep. Yeah, my hand's fine. It's not anything to write home about, but it's all right. Go. All right, go. 19. Go. 99% to play Hero Virus unless I draw a Battle Wise Hot Blight, and then we play that to play around Ultimate Press. Go. I'll fetch press. Alright. The words of Brendan Small. It's time to pay the price. I bet maybe five people watching this video get that reference. I'll tell you who doesn't get that reference. You. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm at 19. Come on. Right, that's, that's a sweet one. Is it? It's a sweet. It's as sweet as this. Oh, no. Right. Hit me with a mentor. Hit me with a mentor. Nope. Tilt. I don't really want to keep drawing these lands. All right, he's going to kill it, but we... Basically, just have to pray he doesn't and get this into play and start making guys. Here we go. Uh, plus a shock. Yep. Doof. Sometimes this deck is a the man in this deck is something to leave something to be desired. <laughs> Go. All right. <laughs> Tech. Block. All right. God's willing it. Make a guy. Go. Scry. Keep. Go. I'm gonna get cruxed. 
Gonna get cracks. I'm gonna lose. Gonna die. Maybe not. No, that was not the draw uh, draw that we wanted. <laughs> it's not the draw you were looking for. It was certainly not the draw we were looking for. Uh, I guess we'll put this guy into play. Right. I'll fetch. First image. Or second. second. Image. 18 to 19. Nope, I'm at 18 also. Another morph. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'll we'll play another morph. You're up. Alright. XL4, play Treasure Cruise. I guess I shouldn't play the Mana Confluence yet in case I draw Scrylands. Okay. We don't really want to lose any of these guys at Deathness Raptor, so we'll just go fetch play another guy. Here we go. Oh no, I can't. I should have to play Confluence. Oh, okay. Because I already have all my planes. Take one. 17. Here we go. Uh, I will flip this, bring Deathness back, return ultimate price to my hands. Yep. What's up? Draw. Uh, plus I shock. Alright. Two fetches and a stroke. I'll steal this. Fine. And say go. I know it's not long, but. <laughs> Take it anyway. Alright, we're gonna fetch. Go to a 16. I believe. Right, we're gonna play second mentor and then stand to slum guard and get two Jacob Wilson tokens. That would only be one Jacob Wilson token. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. And then. Attack Ashiok. Well, I attack with these two also. So I'm just gonna do this. Alright, yeah, all these will attack Ashiok. Uh, Dent Protector on a Jacob Wilson. Alright, these are twos, by the way. Yeah, yeah. no. Okay, just make sure. I'll put Death Mist on Hero. And that's it. Alright, take one. Go 16. Go to 15. 15. 15. Alright, uh, can I shrink this and make two more guys? Okay. Oh, no. I'm out of the full Jacob Wilson tokens. So draw this way. Counter and they'll trade. Uh, you'll, Ashok takes four. Four down to three. All right. One of your your heroes still good. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, treasure cruise. Right, plus. I'll just ultimate price both of those. Jeez. All right. And yeah, you should drop. Just gonna get back to Salumgar. You got no cards in hand, right? Yep. Alright, so you're at 18 still? Yep. Right, I guess we can't lose more than one guy, so we'll send all these to Ashiok. Uh, I'll put a hero on one of the tokens. Alright, take him down. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Go. I will have him back slumber. Yep. Plus Ashiak. And the treasure cruise. Cast Lumbar. Uh, target heart hero. And say go. Morph. Sure. Go. Actually, no, sorry, he's not going to die if I do this, so I'm going to do this. Because I get the damage prevention thing. So I can draw cards next turn. Three, no, you don't do that. So you would jump, eat, trade, take two. So this would, this would die, this would die. All right, yeah, all these are Ashiok. All right, the one that was stolen from Silumgar here, yep. and block to the will yep. tokens. All right, go. How many Valor Steads have I got left? Let me get rid of that dude. Oh, two left. I think I have two treasure cruises left. Yeah, I've got two treasure cruises, two Valor Stamps. Those are both good. Uh, plus Ashok. All right, now I've got one treasure cruise left. Play more. Dang it! <laughs> this deck is so grindy. Uh, and I'll just say it. Right. Untap, draw. I guess I'll scry first. I put bottom in, I think. Untap. Uh, and attack Ashiok. Draw two. Go. Alright. Alright, I should have this. Go. Thoughts is. Target this. Go. Sees you again then. Call me. Stroke. Yeah. You have no card in it now? Yeah, I'm at 16. Alright. Uh, I'll say go. Scry, bottom, and go. I guess it's a scratch dancer of his own? No. Um, no. It's probably just a deathless rapper and you just want to get back the other one. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Allergies going crazy. Uh, go. I guess we could have attacked with favorite hop light. Scry. Top. Go. I think I'm going to deck myself. Uh, I'll try to kill favorite hop light on a turn. I'll try to protect. Sure. Top. Go. Go. Target this. Sure. All right. It's definitely a death of Raptor. <laughs> All right. Uh, play Treasure Cruise. Sure. I still just want a Valor Stance, like, real bad. Because right now, we actually... This doesn't even do anything against the Death Mist flipping back and forth. Because he gets to Megamorph this, and then put that one back face down and just keep bringing them back. I guess, check with this. 
Right now there's a three, so I guess we can get in like some free damage with this if he doesn't want to block, but if he wants to block, we get rid of something else. So this is a, this is a three three right now? Yep. I have freaking nine cards left in my deck because of Ashiok and card drawing. Hmm. Like if I block that thing with Stone Guard, it's gonna my Stone Guard's gonna die. Uh, I'll just block here. All right, it's fine. Uh, I'll Megamorph this. Uh, returning the other one face down. Yep. And say go. So I take three down to. 13 is all right. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have two Valor stances left in these nine cards. Go ahead. I have nine cards left. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to play a morph. Yep. Um Okay. I don't understand for that. Cast how many spells? Two. He's a three. How many cards left in your deck? Seven. See what's been dealt with. Uh, block like this and I'll flip this returning this Deathmiss Raptor face up mm -hmm. and targeting Dun Predator. Sure. Damage. Yep. Dead, dead. Take three down to ten. Yep. And yeah, I should go. Draw. Uh, Cedar Wave Runner. Sure. And I'll take the Temple of Deceit. Yep. Play it and scry. I don't think that this card does anything right now, so we'll bottom it. I'll play more from Ziggo. Tire for three. Um, how many cards are left in your deck at this point? Six. Mm. Yes, six. Um, okay, I go to seven. Uh, flip this up, returning Deathmist face down. 
and targeting Ashiok. I think, well, let me make sure that you don't see. I think you still have disdainful strokes. Two. Yeah, I'll target Ashiok. Draw. Play Ashiok plus. Play State or Wave Finder. Actually, that's probably. I'll just say go. That's just that's it. That was plus turn. <laughs> if I draw on the gods willing, I could have killed Ashiok and live for two more turns. And then three, six, nine, maybe. <laughs> that was, I'm I'm all out of uh, uh, ways to pump them. So yeah. all right, I'm gonna get decked. That was my bottom dude. Decking them. Just how we drew it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for game five, I'm on the play, and I want to punish Brian for playing early morphs. Uh, so we're going to bring back in Dravoko's command. Disable Storm's been pretty lackluster. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's like one of my outs to Ugin or whatever, but I think it's more important for me to try to win the game before the game gets to that point. Um, and if the game ends up getting to that point, me just kind of hoping he doesn't have Ugin. Yeah. Uh, but I keep getting stuck with too many reactive cards, and we're going to play some proactive cards. Just like, if I had Dravoka's command at like any point in the last like five turns of the game, just get to break up your little combo fest, putting your guy face down. Yep. Uh, this is... An okay hand. Yeah, mine's fine. Uh, we'll lead off here with a scry. I don't think we really want more dudes at this point. And you know, we might end up drawing some more dudes anyway, so could come back to haunt me. Scry and bottom that, I think. All right, planes, hero, go. 19. Draw. Oh, that was not what the doctor ordered. You're up. Doctor's been putting in a lot of orders. <laughs> and the card I drew was really just not on the list. Go. Attack. Accept. 18 Island Morph Goat. Um, well, let's kill that thing now or forever hold my piece, so. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that, but I think it's worth it, because if we get to yep. untap with it, I think it's pretty hard to lose. Like, if he just has a coming to play tap land, he can't ultimate price, so. Attack. 16. Go. Mm. Scry, keep it, Deathmiss Rapture. Yep. I like Dramoka's command, fight, make me second enchantment. Whew. Yep. And that is what I call a heroic strategy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will fire this off. That's kind of gross. Um, take Dramoka's command. All right, so two treasure cruises. Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Cruise. Yep. Fetch planes and uh, passing this.
Pass. All right, you're at 16. Uh, I think I'm at 14. Probably from 13. Yeah. And I'm at 17. Yep. Sure. If I strike this. Sure. Go. Flip on returning thoughts he's on. Uh sure. That's it's help. Uh thoughts easy. I'll take treasure cruise. That's easy again. Take command. Return. Yep. Cross ties again. Okay. Go. Oh, I'm so good. Jesus Christ, I'm great. <laughs> Till drop three. I don't know what to do. <laughs> that was such a good draw. I don't know what to do anymore. I was I was resigned to my fate of just dying, and now I have life. All right. I guess I will ordeal this. Trigger. Trigger the thing. Yep. Tech draw. So things a like four or five right now. Sure, might need to. Yeah. Uh, four, five. I will block with Tazgar. All right, I'm gonna take one. Fine, strike with my guy. All right. Oh yeah. Scry bottom. All right, go. What, 10? Mm -hmm. Two. <laughs> All right, take six. I got 10. Crux. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Just another Chris? No. Hmm. I think we take these two. Oh, 
Well, this game looked great for us, but that treasure cruise really did a number on us. You're up. Actually, I guess Mike could go for the kill here. We can put like a counter on this and sacrifice our own enchantment and draw two. Uh, that'll give us two tokens, a two two. Uh, so I guess two four five. One spell, six, seven, eight. So we'd have to draw a spell that cost, uh, I guess, any spell in the deck, really. I guess he could have ultimate price here, so we can just play around it. Um, in your upkeep, I'm going to attempt to price that thing. Sure. I'll give it indestructible. Okay. Morph. Sure. We'll attack for the counter here. Uh, so two, five, six, shoot a four. Yeah. Four. Oh, yeah. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can only do nine. So. Go. I was really hoping he didn't have either a God's Willing or a Stance there. That was basically, I think, my only shot of winning. Um, Scry, keep on top. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just dead, but that's all over. Uh, it resolves. Target this, I assume. Uh, I right. think I actually have to target. Target this. Uh. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. tap. Draw. Uh this will fight this and then I'm just out of this. Yeah. And I'm then gonna... put a counter on this. Yeah, so. I'm dead. I needed I needed one either just be a slightly higher life for one more turn so I could just do this. Yeah. Alright, so we're here for the conclusion and uh I don't have a lot to say about Ban heroic, but uh, very minorly, the Valor stances felt really good. Yeah, they did. Um, you know, there, there there are games where even if it's rotting in your hand, like when you were thought teasing me in uh, game, f it was either game three or game four, and uh, like the game where I had like three Valor stances in hand. Yeah, game three. I was kind of like, all right, I really want to draw something that's not Valor stance, but at the same time, after the game was over, Brian was just like, yeah, I had Dragon Lord, Slumgar, and Heroes Downfall in hand. I just couldn't cast them. Because I would just counter them or kill them and just like waste all this mana. So, yeah. Uh, um, you know, with with all these green devotion decks uh, flooding the field right now uh, after the invitational and um, you know just all these giant creatures running around, like all, all I see every matchup is just like either mono red or a deck with giant idiots. And Valor Stance just feels perfect against both those because well, not perfect against mono red, but perfect in a field that is that. Yeah. Uh, more so than something like a Johnny's Presence, which was being played before. Yeah, I mean, Presence doesn't really do that much when, like, you're not attacking through, like, a mass of giant creatures anyway. Yeah. Um, but Valor Stance can at least clear the way. Yeah, the uh, the main concern uh, from the original version that was playing a Johnny's Presence was that we wanted to make sure it cost less, uh, or that it was just cheap, so that we could have it on, like, turn three to protect our guy. Um, or, you know it could protect us from Crux of Fate, and it didn't really feel like to me that when you're playing the Treasure Cruise version of the deck, you're not, like, you don't really mind letting your creatures die in the early game because that fuels your Treasure Cruises, and, uh, like, it ultimately that makes sure you have enough mana to actually cast the Valor Stances. Um, I like having spells that are more versatile, and, uh, I mean, that's it. I'm going to stop talking about Valor Stance because it's just, it's pretty basic, but it doesn't feel that way. So, uh, anyway, your deck was sweet. Let's talk about that. Yeah, uh, I like this deck. It was fun, and it it seemed pretty powerful. Like, the Deathmist Den Protector thing actually seemed pretty good in this shell. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed like you could really grind out a lot of people that way. Um, so much so that I, I actually think that Dig Through Time is bad in this deck. <laughs> I was and actually I'm, thinking the same thing. And I'm not just saying because of this matchup. Like, I just, in general, I don't think that Dig Through Time is good in this deck because... One, there's only one enabler, Seder Wayfinder is the only enabler for it, and 
you don't want to delve away your uh, like death mist and den protectors, and you're also hurting your den protectors every time you cast dig through time. I think I'd rather have like some cards that are less taxing in the graveyard, like Murderous Cut um, or Tazigar or something. Uh, just dig through time just didn't seem good in this deck, and it didn't seem like you needed either. Yeah, I mean this deck really feels like uh, an Abzan Megamorph deck, uh, yeah, but just without like Siege Rhino and Elspeth, and instead has. Dig through time and like soul tie charm, I guess, is the, and maybe some counter spells in the sideboard. Yeah, um, disdainful strokes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, those decks function very well. They can go super deep into the game, and they they don't really need a giant card draw spell. Um, so, I mean, you're probably right. I like when you said out the dig through times. The first, thought, I, I didn't really grasp the entire scope of your deck, and so um, I, in my head, I was thinking, well, I don't, I guess. That I don't know if that's right or not, but you know I'm just gonna let him try it at least because this half the point of this is just figuring these these things out. Yeah. And so dig through time, you know maybe it doesn't belong in the deck because the deck felt like it ran pretty well after sideboard. Like he decked me. <laughs> he, he decked me. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, anyway, that's between, all. Between the games, I I decked him. I was like, yeah. you and your heroic. God. And yeah. I'm gonna call it DCI. That's aggressive. Okay. Behavior. It's a USC major. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, I thought the the deck was sweet. Um, the Seder Wayfinders Finding Haven was great with yeah. Ugin and stuff like that. Uh, Rebuying Dragonlar Slumgar was kind of cool. Uh, Slumgar, I mean, he's obviously, like, pretty weak to just spot removal spells, um, but also he seems insane against a deck with, like, Elspeth or Ugin. Oh, yeah. Just steal that, activate it immediately, and the fact that he doesn't have uh, four power... Means you can like steal Elspeth, tick down, kill their Siege Rhino, and even if they kill Slumgar, like their Siege Rhino is gone. Yeah, or even just take it, tick up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, take it ultimate. Yeah, uh, Slumgar is really. I like Slumgar a lot, uh, especially with Havens and Den Protectors and stuff. Um, I like Ugin as an end game for this deck. Like, I, I actually think that this deck is is good. I just, like I said, I just don't think it should be playing Dig Through Time, and I think that. Once you free up those slots, you actually can even play like other stuff that's like probably pretty sweet as well. Like, yeah, I dig, don't know exactly what it is. Dig but. also seems incredibly taxing on the mana base too. Because yeah. it's the only double blue spell. Blue is the splash. So yeah. The control decks, four dig through time, not close. That's all they ever want to do is kill, 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 dig, dig through time. Yeah. So. Uh, this deck is a little bit different. It's just super grindy. has a lot of creatures in it. Whatever. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for me and Brian today. Make sure to check out our uh, videos later in the week. Uh, should have Tom Ross battling uh, Brad, I think? Tom versus Brad, yeah. Yeah, Tom versus Brad should be on Friday. BBD versus Brad on Wednesday, as per usual. Uh, my article up on Thursday. Yours up on Friday. Yep. But that's all for me. For Brian Brown doing. I'm Todd Anderson. Thanks for watching the Versus. See you.